Hi, my name is Mary Wong and I'm a registered traditional Chinese medicine acupuncturist uh, and practitioner. And I want to welcome you to my fertility live post number 14. Tonight I am going to show you how to make a uh, lovely, amazing, um, uh, it's, it's a tonic medicine that has to be steeped for about a month. And this is inspired by my massage therapist at Alive Holistic Health because she brought it into our staff meeting and I had a taste and it actually... Um, I hope you can still hear me. Anyway, uh, so tonight I'm going to make this recipe. Again, it's called the Fire Cider Tonic. And um, this time of year is the time where we are most prone to getting colds and flus and such and of course now you may even hear about people taking flu shots so there's things that we can do naturally to boost our immune system and here's one of them and it's cheap because you get to make it at home so let's start um, I've done some preparation so this very first thing I bought this at the grocery store any local grocery store will do this is a fresh horseradish oh it's so strong and traditionally, so that I already grounded it, and what I used was this little black and decker that I got, which was like so cheap, and it takes like seconds to do. And um, horseradish, interestingly enough, helps to dispel cold, and it helps to break up phlegm. So ideally though, you wanna actually make this tonic and you have it as a preventive measure, and so you would take it um, if you're around people with colds or uh, especially you know someone like me I'm working with lots of people every single day so we want to look at uh, trying to prevent so you can take one tablespoon a day and so let's go on all right so right now this is half a cup of horseradish so I'm gonna put it in here and one of the things that we add in so this is a mason jar and here's two sprigs of rosemary, which also has great properties because we use it to, um, it's antibacterial for one. And so I'm gonna pop this in here. I don't think you can see this, so I have to throw this in the air. Okay, next up is freshly grated ginger. So again, another half cup. So this is half a cup of all, all these things. So again, fresh ginger root that I also got at a local store. And then third off, we have, um, I didn't and I could not find a fresh turmeric, but uh, truth be told, I didn't get to the Chinese store and I didn't have time because guess what? I also work for a living. So here it is. I had to go and get my um, powdered turmeric from my spice cabinet and for that you use a full tablespoon but otherwise if you get it fresh again you want to use a half a cup so here's that and it's going to make a lovely color next this is we're going to make some noise because i had to prepare some but i wasn't able to pre prepare everything and so um there's a call for jalapeno peppers, not Chinese medicine, but if we look at it in terms of the properties, because in Chinese medicine we look at uh, food having medicinal properties, and this would be considered uh, quite warm, maybe even hot and spicy, and as such is the horseradish, the uh, turmeric, as well as the ginger. Th those are all considered very hot in the Chinese pharmacopoeia. So I'm gonna throw it in my little black and decker and we're gonna make a little noise. Ta -da. You know what? It would help if I had the blade in. <laughs> Hang on a second. So before I went um, on air, what I had to do was uh, prepare some of it so I use this little black and decker to help because it is way easier than chopping by hand 
this. So we're going to do that. Okay, guys, a little technical difficulty. So we're going to do this again. There we go. We're going to throw this in here. So this I have two jalapeno peppers. The recipe calls for one to three. So I'm kind of doing it like middle of the road so it's not too crazy, crazy spicy. So now it took a second and now I can pop it. <coughs> Whoa, that's spicy. Woo. And we're gonna pop it into this mason jar again. So for those of us, those joining us right now, we're making a fire cider tonic to help boost your immune system. But it has to be stored for like a month before it's really ready because it's got to, you know, really simmer and steep. So there's that. And next, I'm going to do uh, onion. I'm going to cut the onion. I already peeled it. I'm going to chop it. So I'm going to I'm going to use one small onion. It's supposed to be half a cup, but I'm going to just say that that's like half a cup. And then I have 10 garlic cloves. So this is all considered hot. And it all has antimicrobial properties. It helps to break up phlegm. There we go. I love this thing. It is so fast. <laughs> it was a gift, but I'm sure I think it's a great investment. My life has changed since we got this because I don't have to have stinky hands cutting garlic and onions. I don't have to cry now cutting onions. So here I am. I'm putting it into my container. How easy is this? Oh, it is so fresh. I am actually uh, feeling some of the <laughs> teariness in my eyes right now. Woo! Because there's lots of spicy stuff in here. I kind of like have to squint. Woo! Okay, so here we have looking at this so far. And now I'm going to take, it's, the recipe calls for one to two lemons. And I think I'm actually going to use um, maybe at least one and a half. Just because when these herbs are in here, food as herbs, they're all considered really hot and spicy. And I'm going to translate this and add some TCM, Chinese medicine, into this. And lemon is has a bit more of, of an opposite quality to the rest of this. So when it comes to recipes, we want it balanced. And when it comes to catching a cold in Chinese medicine, we say it can either be like of a hot type of cold or a cold type of cold. So when we add lemon to it, lemon is considered a stringing. Think about uh, it's sour, so it kind of makes you go like this, right? So it increases fluid. Um, so you want to increase fluid in your body while the other hot herbs are considered drying. So drying for phlegm, but you know what? There's also colds that are drying too. So this kind of balances out so you're not left with only one type of cold that you can deal with, right? So let me see. I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to use my little lemon squeezer here. Don't mind me. Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll just squeeze it good old fashioned way. Wait. <laughs> I'm having technical difficulties. Normally it works awesome. There we go. Now we can. I should have squeezed this before uh, <laughs> I was showing you this. So here we go. So I'm using this, it's 
This uh, recipe originates from Rosemary Gladstar, a herbalist from Rose Mountain Herbs. Okay, and uh, as I said, I, I didn't make up this recipe, and it was uh, Tina, our massage therapist, who brought it to my attention, and I quite liked it, but I want to come from a TCM perspective on this. Chinese medicine. So we're using it to prevent sickness. So here's half a lemon. But what you also want is the actual lemon peel. So I'm not, I'm, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and take my grater and do this. It's always good to have a kitchen with good gadgetry and my husband loves gadgets in the kitchen so here I am using a fancy zester so you want the whole lemon and zest so doing it this way so I'm gonna take my lemon and do this And so as I do this, I'll, I'll tell you, the mason jar that you want to use, because you have to let it steep for a, a month, I would use one that's glass, obviously, but I have a plastic lid because when we add in the lemon and when we have the cider vinegar, which I'll add in a moment, the apple cider vinegar, that can um, corrode metal. So you know those regular metal uh, mason jars? You can use that, but you'd want to seal it with some kind of like wax paper so that it doesn't corrode as it sits for a month. And once it's in, the other thing you want to do is you might want to like, um, not stir it, but shake it up every single day or, uh, you know, if you have, if you forget at least a couple of times a week anyhow, that would be good. I'm totally having issues with my lemon today. Ah! Uh! Okay, you know what? We're going old school. I can do this. We're going old school and I'm gonna squeeze my lemon. Oh yeah, awesome. Ta-da. Uh. All right. So, Margaret, absolutely. Um, we're going to post the recipe on our blog in a couple of days. And so on Friday, it should be up with all the lovely ingredients. I don't think you need to watch me do this, but what I'll do is I'm going to add that in after I'm done my post. <laughs> so I'm going to go on. I'm going to wash my hands first. So I'll be right back. One second. I'm just around the corner. You can probably still hear me. I don't have a fancy cameraman to walk around with me. So, you know, here it is. So, this is Bragg's Organic Apple Cider Raw. I should have pre-opened it. Hopefully, you're not gonna see me. Oh, look at that. I am so strong. <laughs> so, you wanna cover your ingredients. You can't really see me, so I'm gonna do this. You want to cover it all the way. Ah! Okay. Now, the amount of um, apple cider here, it says, ah, well, you know what? You just fill the jar. So here I am. I'm going to fill the jar which is actually my whole bottle here. So there you go. And this was like $8.99, not a big deal. So this whole recipe here, see, that uh, I think it looks kind of beautiful. So we're gonna be steeping this for a whole month so that we can get awesome benefits out of it. And I have to tell you, it doesn't taste bad. I thought it was gonna be so bad because it sounds strong, but when we tasted it, it was awesome. And uh, in fact, as Tina mentioned, you can even use this and mix it like a salad dressing or whatever. You can even put it in your cooking. Now, 
back to the TCM bit. When I look at these ingredients, so the horseradish, the ginger, the turmeric, the onion, the garlic, the jalapeno, that's one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients here. In Chinese medicine, the perspective is that these are all considered very hot and it can help with like breaking up phlegm and um, it can help to spread energy, so spreading the heat. And if you have like a cold, like more, uh, if you have like feverishes, uh, fevers and chills, so it helps more with the chills. If you have achy joints, it can help with that too. And turmeric, uh, even in, in the West, we know it for you know arthritic conditions. In Chinese medicine, we could say like damp B conditions. So it is very helpful. Now balanced out with the lemon and the cider vinegar, it cools it off a little bit. So we're able to use it in a more rounded way so it can fulfill and help treat, um, a, a, you know, maybe even a slightly more progressed cold. Although, although when I evaluate this, um, this formulation or recipe, I'm going to say this is much better for uh, like a really, really acute, um, very early onset of having a cold. I think if it's much um, deeper than that, if you start getting the yellow phlegm, this is not going to be so good for that um, because it, it might be a little too hot in nature in general. So that's it. Um, so again, like we're going to close the lid. We're going to shake it up. We can use this to increase circulation. We can use it to as an antiviral, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory. Again, uh, the you know ingredients here are anti-inflammatory. Horseradish itself, I don't know if you know uh, wasabi, which is in Japanese food, what they use the green stuff. And if you ever eat that, you'll notice it goes like it's like this quick thing in your sinus. So it helps to open up the nasal passages. Uh, it can open up the bronchial passages and uh, it's it can be very stimulating so there's a lots of great immune boosting qualities to it um, it's a decongestant as well you know again thinking about horseradish opening it up and I think that's about it and in terms of contraindications I think it's pretty safe and again I, I wouldn't use it once you get into like a you know a crazy crazy sore throat scenario with like a dark yellow phlegm, anything like that, I, I wouldn't use it then, but very early on or um, even as a preventive, I would use it then. So that's it. And um, if you have any questions, please go ahead and ask me. But otherwise, there's also variations. And again, we'll list this in um, the uh, post in two days at maryong.life as well as the Alive Holistic Health.ca, uh, which is our clinic in Toronto. So the variations includes using black peppercorns, thyme, oregano, parsley, burdock, bird chili, habanero chili, rosehip, star anise. So I would say this is more like a East meets West tonic. Um, and I, I like to think that I'm an East meets West kind of gal. So hopefully you'll, you'll try it because it's easy formulation. It's cheap. Otherwise, for me, I also use something like Cold Quell, which can handle slightly more of the, um, like the, 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 what do I call it? The more sore throat stuff that I'm talking about. But this is also good for early onset. And the reason why I'm talking about this, um, so for those of you that have, um, low immune system to begin with who are prone to colds this is definitely good for or you know if you've had cancer in the past or just a uh, uh, lupus or you know anything like that just to kind of keep your immune system up that's great and for those of you who are also trying to conceive one of the things that we fear is oh my goodness if i have a cold will that impede my chances of uh, conceiving and uh, so this is a way to get around that to keep your immune system strong and yet simultaneously it doesn't necessarily mean that you it will, you, it will deter you from getting pregnant it may, it may lower the chances perhaps in that month certainly for men by the way 
who has a fever within the 90 days uh, of um, creating sperm. It's actually 72 days. But let's say if a man experiences a fever over prolonged periods of time, that can impede in that month or the next month um, the ability to conceive because if it increases the scrotal temperature, it um, may impact the sperm. So that's it for tonight. So thank you for watching and I will keep you posted with this. And again, when you have it, you have like one tablespoon, maybe even two in a day, especially if you're starting to feel any signs or symptoms. Okay. Thank you for joining me and please check out other posts on um, my page and like my page. And um, also uh, you can look at my miriamwong.life and Alive Holistic Health. Uh, .ca, our uh, clinic websites, okay? Thank you so much, and I'll see you next Wednesday night, and I'll cover a story um, just for stories of hope, okay? Have a good night. Bye now.